guys, Real McCoy 411 and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going in with Cream of Nature. <laughs> Cream of Nature. Yeah, had a goof moment. Anyways, we're going to be putting up some twists and I want my twist defined. So I'm actually going to be using their hair mousse and we're going to seal it in with some oil and we're going to get a defined twist out so stay tuned i hope you're ready so the first thing we're going to do is my hair has been shampooed and conditioned with cream of nature and the line that i'm using is the argan oil okay so I have to go in now with the argan oil leave-in conditioner. So I have to separate my hair. I have to separate my hair. Yes, in order to do this and do it correctly, hair needs to be sprayed down. Look at there. Ah, oh, it's good and clean and moisturized. Good clean and moisturize and that's what you want when you want when you finish shampooing your hair that's what you want to feel good clean not stripped and moisturize mm. I love the way this stuff smell and they say shake it up and you get even more out of it Ooh. And I'm just working it in. Yes, 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 darling. And I'm going to go for the middle part again. So let's go ahead and make that part. Detangle. I have the Jamaican mango lime. Make sure I got some in here. Yeah, okay. Black castor oil peppermint. So, that's the oil that we're going to be using. I told y'all these bottles from Lotta Body. If you get that oil, you better not throw that bottle away. You better not throw that bottle away. Because you can use that bottle with your other oils and spray your hair down. Just like if you was to use that oil. Boop. So this here, I'm going to make it into two parts. I want definition. So... I did about three pumps right there. And I'm actually going to be applying the oil at the end to the whole section. So two pumps actually would have been good on this. But guess what I did? I did three pumps. Uh, uh. And then we're just going to twist. Now, I am going to be sitting under a hooded dryer for about an hour, if that long, because this is mousse, and it does not take mousse long to dry, and my hair is fairly damp, so if it even takes that long. It took an hour and 15 minutes when I did the braid out. So, and I use a cream for that one. Oh, it shouldn't take that long. Got to work kind of fast on this because my hair likes mousse and it will curl up in a heartbeat. It's thinking we're doing like a wash and go. My hair is set like, okay, we're curling up for a wash and go. 
No, boo boo. We're curling up for a twist out. Okay, so I'm going to stop chitter chatting and I'm going to complete twisting. And coiling the ends. And I will see you guys before I sit under the hair dryer. All right. Smoochies. Let's speed up the video. to my last twist here in the back and these braid sizes were medium uh, about three smalls you know but mostly medium size like you see here in the front um, I'm getting ready to go set up under the hair dryer I love that I made that investment. Y'all y'all probably gonna hear me say that in every video that I use the hair dryer with. But at the same time, I'm not gonna be using the hair dryer too much because I don't want any heat damage to my hair. So but for videos like this, that's mainly purpose for me using the mousse and seeing what kind of result I can get. From using a hair dryer opposed to air dry. So I'm going to use it for this purposes. But don't think that I'm not being very careful of the amount of heat that I put in my hair. Because I've been air drying for so long. And now it's like I got a, you know, a hair dryer hair dryer to sit on the post of air drying. I ain't got nothing in the pump. There we go. This one's a bit thicker. Ooh, that peppermint smells good. So I'm going to take these. And this is also a good time for you to not left out this section. I knew it. I knew it was going to be a section I'd leave out. Anyway, um, this would be a good time to look at your ends and see what you, you know, how your ends of your hair are looking, if you need to clamp them, if they coil up good, if they didn't coil up good. I always have you some shears on hand so that you can get those ends that look scraggly and raggedy. So that's another good thing about doing the twist out and the braid outs. I can't believe I left this piece of hair out. And it's a big piece that probably would have made a big difference. But it's going to serve its purpose and just be a little definition. See there? 
It's going to be a little definition. That's what it's going to do. All right, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Hey guys, I'm back. Hair is dry 100%. Took 30 minutes up under the hair dryer. 100% dry. Let's get into taking it down. Let's see if we have some definition. And we have definition. Yes. Oh, and bounce. The moose. The moose. Cream of nature. Cream of nature. Now I'm going to stop after this one and see. Can we get some naturally separated now? So when you see me working on a spot that already has been taken down, I'm trying to get more definition and volume. Spreading, I'm separating my hair. I like this. And the oil is already sprayed on my hair. You can see it's coming off of my hand, so it's in there, which is a good thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blame it on the juice, baby. Blame it on the juice. Spreading up the video. this much volume and definition yeah it's like I it's just like it was when I did my braid out except I have a little more shine because the color of my hair my hair tends to look dry like it's dry but I have more shine using the mousse and the oil so got hair in my mouth what okay it's all good though I like it I like it and it took 30 minutes to dry this is some thick stuff this here Jamaican black castor oil this here uh, peppermint scent I love that scent trying to make sure I get it all before it go in the empties. I can't wait to show y'all the empties. Yeah, but hair has definitely grown a lot. And this is day one. So I can just imagine what day two is going to be like. Because throughout the day, like I told you, you find these pieces to separate that naturally separate on their own. And hair is all the way down here. Thank you, Jesus, for growth. So, I, that's it. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you are new, go ahead and give me a click for subscribe. And then another click for notifications so that you can be updated on my natural hair journey for growing healthy and longer hair. That is my goal. That is my purpose. I am documenting my journey. And this, from compared to one year ago, my hair has doubled in length. Doubled in length. And I will try to put that video up here. If it's not too far back. So. I'm doing something right. That's for sure. I'm doing something right. So check out that older video. Compared to this one. And oh my goodness. My hair has definitely grown. Look at the definition and the volume. 
I like it a lot. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be an idea that pop up in my head, and I'm going to go with it. So, I'll see you guys then. Love you. Smooches. Oh, don't forget, keep God first in everything you do, and I do mean everything. And I mean that. I stamp my video with that. Keep God first in everything you do, and I do mean everything. All right. Smooches.